Hello, my name is Second. We are playing FTB Presents Fan. And the uh, first thing I want to do today is mess around with the laser drill a little more. I want to give these processing uh, upgrades a try. Now, what it says is that... Uh, my dark oak. Let me get this recipe programmed in. Let's see if it'll go in here. Okay, it does go in there. Now, I don't know... It's going to give us three things. We probably won't find out until it's next round. It seems to, like, it didn't, the, the tier two uh, efficiency did not bring it down to 80 until it finished the upper L. So I guess the, uh, the villagers in the jars count as a village. <laughs> Wasn't looking for that, but here we are. Well, yeah, we do have a heal, so we'll see how we do. I'm not taking it super serious. All right, well, I think they, they might have fallen down a hole somewhere. Um, not really interested enough to go chasing after him. That'll be a failed raid. No big whoop. Let's see if we spot anything with it going up to 80. Okay, no, it's just one. So I wonder... Well, this is the... We, we're going to need another another efficiency, aren't we, or something. Um, if we put the processing here, would that mean it would give us extra? Well, no, if it stops at 18 for a second. That doesn't look like it. Interesting. Now, one thing I want to get into today is Farmer's Delight. We set up the cook pot and so on, but I want to start, uh, you know, really taking advantage and getting all the possible food diversity that we can get. Now, I think... We just want to, let's see, let's see if there's a guide to this. It's like the Spice of Life Apple Pie Edition. Here we go. Current food diversity, 3.37. Active benefits, threshold. Because your food diversity is greater than this threshold, that benefits active. Okay. So I think we just uh, keep eating food, right, that we haven't eaten before. And that will, maybe? I'm not sure. Let's, uh, let's go for some, some nice looking food here. Okay, okay. So we would just need... Uh, What do we have? We have some beef. I don't think it mentioned beef specifically. It did say chicken though, so let's uh, let's go chop up some chicken. Now you probably saw those like chicken cut looking things. Um, what you do is you pick up your knife and you can just hold down right click like this. And for every chicken, for instance, you'll get two chicken cuts. And you get like two ground beef and you know mutton chops and a lot of different things using this. Now we will be able to do some things with the raw directly. And we'll be cooking some of it up. Let's see what we can do anything with the raw. Okay, so we could make uh, some cabbage rolls. We can make dumplings. Okay, we just need some dough. Well, we've got this kind of dough from farmers. That's the same kind, right? There's create. This is farmers. We'd need the flour. Now we can do some auto crafting with this. Refined storage is has liquid, you know, functionality, but it doesn't craft well with them. <laughs> on its own. 
we'll need a separate machine and we'll need to get some water down here too. That'll be easy enough to grab a sink. All right, we got another sink. We got a tank. We got our configurator. Let's uh, set this to push and we'll get another external storage slab down the bottom. All right, now we could craft with some water if we had a block to craft it with. And we do. Thermal adds just the thing. Let's see if we can, yeah, the sequential fabricator. We're going to end up uh, having more than one of these. So we're going to program in some recipes for it. Now we were a little short on iron, so while the laser drill is doing its thing, I thought I'd come out here not too far away from the base. We found the buried treasure map ages ago. Never chased it down. And I'm wondering if one of the eyes that we need to deal with the Ender Dragon is, uh, is inside the chest. So we're going to find out. Now the trick to this, if you've never had a the trick to finding the chests easily is you get right on top of the uh, the X, and then you get right into the middle of the chunk. We're at nine nine, and that takes us. I already lost it. Nine ten. That's nine eight eight eight. Okay, so it's gonna be like right in here somewhere. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Uh, no eye. Okay. We'll have to check at least one more, but you never know. It could be uh, it could be in one of those uh, one of the other. We we found one kind of pirate. Oh. There might be one in there, and there's some cows that we could go uh, get milk from. What do you think? Should we chance it? I think, oh, look at them all. That was a terrible shot. <laughs> They're just gonna keep spawning. Let's, uh, let's see if we can just uh, boogie our way in here. Anything in the cages? Let's see. Hello! Anything over here? Oh, there's alleys! That's good to know. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's see if there's anything up in the chest. I think they're following us. Hello. Let's just uh, smash these dudes. Look at them all. This will help our uh, it's experience that gives us the uh, what do you call it? The points for those skills. So this is great. Well, you sure you get a lot of pillager heads from these guys, huh? Okay. That's probably good enough. Now, let's see. Well, we got a horn. And we got a runestone. And I'll take the arrows. And let's see. Can we jump down into the water? No, but we can jump down. Okay. Let's get out of here. Alright, we got it. And I started another row of machines up here. Let's uh let's get that turned around to a less ridiculous place. Let's see here. There we go. Very nice. Now what we'll want to do in the configuration is have the uh the input down here and the output up there. And the way this works is a little, a little funny. We're gonna need a 
bucket. And we're going to need the wheat. Let's see. Very nice. We will have to first program in the recipe. That's not the recipe. Let's see. The create the wheat dough is wheat flour. But then we got the wheat dough. Okay, so it's 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 definitely wheat flour and it's only the crusher. Okay. Is there any other way we can do it? We got that wheat flour. That's not gonna help us. Now this stuff doesn't look like we can make dough with. Hmm. <laughs> well, we'll have to set up some crushing wheels at some point. Anyway, let's, uh, let's hope this will give us another half a heart here. Doesn't look like it, but we got room for we got room for something else. You know, we're gonna do something else with this guy here. We're gonna go ahead and teach it how to make the water bottles from Croptopia. We may, uh, we'll do stuff from farmers, we'll do stuff from Croptopia. So what we wanna do is just like we did before, and I forgot this step the last time, um, you gotta hit the check mark. So, bucket of water and glass will get us 16 of these. Now, if we were to go to processing here, and put three of these down, three glass down like that, and then click fluids. Click the water bucket in there. It'll put a bucket of water in to, uh, oh, we need to, that'll stay there, right? Yeah, okay. We need an actual set of the thing that we are gonna make. There we go. Now the create, or the create, the, the Croptopia water bottles are used for a couple of things, not the least of which is the salt. That's apple juice. Where's the salt? We'll just program in a recipe for it, right? Oh, delightful. Um, here we go. Okay, so we can do it in the redstone furnace. That's good. That's the wrong GUI. <laughs> I do that all the time. Um, here we go. Now the salt is a basic ingredient for a, a whole, you know a whole slew of things. Not the least of which is cheese. And we will probably get another sequential fabricator together for this to do uh, for this to do those milk bottles. But let's see uh, let's see what's on the menu here next. Our nice high diversity food here. Let's see. All right, toast. Okay, toast is just uh, it's just cooked bread. That's okay. Let's uh, why not, right? Here we go. And then the bread, we're gonna end up making. Well, we we've already learned our lesson with the dough, so we'll be making the bread the hard way for now. Now here's another 2.45 diversity. Okay. That got us up to the next threshold of seven. Now we got two, five, and seven. 10, we'll get another 0.5, and then it goes up from there. Looks like we can get about another, you know, doesn't look like 10 hearts, but certainly some. So we'll wanna keep an eye on uh, on that diversity now it looks like there's a uh, if you look at this you can see how long ago you ate it now I don't know if stuff drops off 
but I do know that as of this most recent update of the pack, there's no penalty for eating the same food over and over again. So we'll just probably jack it up as high as we can and then see what happens. Uh, last time, I said it looked like we were going to need Batania to uh, make, some, make some better armor. We could also use Nature's Aura. We're probably going to end up doing both and seeing which set we like better. But uh, first things first, we're going to do Batania. Okay, we got a Mana Pearl. I just made it. I already forgot. We need to make the Runic Altar for the next, uh, the next series of stuff. Now, okay, it's pointed right at it. It'll do its thing. We'll need a mana spreader to move mana from the pool to the altar. Uh, you will be shocked to know that you use the runic altar to make runes. Here's the rune of water. We'll need a couple things. Now, underneath our main mana pool, we have an alchemy catalyst. We were using that to transform so we could turn redstone into glowstone, glowstone into redstone. We want mana powder. So we're going to take that out, and we can well, put it right back under there. Now this is compatible with JAI. You can sort of see what you need to do. Uh, mana steel we already had, but that's iron in the mana pool. What you actually do is you put uh, all of your items down. You just right click, and then you're going to need a living rock and your wand of the forest. And you can see the little progress dial there. You know, it's, it's quick enough for these, uh, certainly for these lower level runes. And what you do is you right click with your living rock, right click with your wand of the forest, and you get your runes. Now we're going to want fire, earth, air, those all rhyme. Mana is a little different. It uses five mana steel and a mana pearl, but all of the runes use that mechanic with the living rock and the wand of the forest. So I'm going to make those other five runes, or four runes that I mentioned. Okay, so there's actually a stumbling block. We have no mushrooms. Um, so we are going to have to go get ourselves some. Fortunately, there's a dark forest not too far away need a few. Our whirly sprig should be able to reproduce these for us. All we need is a little bit of podzel, and we can go ahead and plant them, and we should get a good amount. Alright, we got the runes. Now we are going to want an entire block of mana steel, and that, with the runes and a couple of lapis blocks, will get us a terrestrial agglomeration plate. Now you can look this thing up in your lexica, if you have a lexica. Thought we did? We do. Okay. So we'll just come over here. Terra steel. See the plate? This is the multi-block that it sits on. That's any kind of living rock or shimmer rock or some stuff. Uh, in a checkerboard pattern, so there's one underneath the plate with four lapis blocks. Now, unlike many things in Batania, we're going to need sparks to transfer stuff, uh, to transfer mana from, uh, from our mana pool to the plate. So we are going to get the most out of our blaze rods that we can. Might have okay. We have enough for these. That's fine. Two sparks. So here's our living rock. Put down the lapis. Put the plate down. We're gonna be using that to make terra steel. We will need mana diamond and mana pearl. And you just right click them on here. Now these will interact with magnets. If those jerks from the rats mod were around, they'd pick this stuff up and steal them. All we need to do, we need to put a spark right there, and a spark right there, and we'll see the mana going across, 
This operation takes like half a mana pool. It may not finish by the time the sun goes down. But uh, we just need one to start, although we will want probably like half a stack for everything we want to do. Okay, our first Terra Steel. Delightful. All we're going to do is immediately turn it into nuggets, because we're going to need nine Terra Steel nuggets for what we're going to want to do. The first thing, helps if I spell it right, the first thing is an Elven Gateway Core, which is just Living Wood and three of those little jobbers. We're also, let's see, is it Gleaming? We're going to need three of them. Um, glimmering. That's it. We're going to need three of these, and we're going to need some more living wood. We are also going to want two mana pools, and we're going to see what it's going to take to make ourselves a couple of pylons. Oh, really? Oh. All right. So the mana pylons are really expensive, but the Natura pylons, which are the ones we need, oh, and we'll need mana pylons for the Gaia pylons. Okay, okay. So we'll have to we'll have to beat four withers before we can fight the Gaia guardian. All right. Well, we can make these up easily enough. Okay, let's go ahead and make our pylons. There we go. And we're going to need, I think, one more... One more, uh... One more mana die. Oh, we could do it with a pearl. Okay. Our pearls are renewable. We can, we can get those from villagers, so I want to use those as much as possible. Now, what I was looking at there is uh, the mana tablet. If mana is the power of the mod, and the mana tablet is the battery of the mod, it'll hold about half a pool's worth. And that's another way you can move mana around or have it on you for you know, various applications. Now, we are... where are we going to put this? Probably over here. Yeah, why not right over here? We're just going to make some living wood wood. Not that we need to. Let's put that there. Let's put our gateway core down. Now, these are sort of like nether portals, the way they're shaped. Out of the way. But what we're going to do is we're going to come up, up one more, and then we're going to take two of our glimmering living wood logs, put them right there. Up again. One more time. And our final glimmer right there so that there's a 3x3 three three space in the middle. Now somewhere nearby you're going to want your mana pools. And on top of the mana pools you're gonna wanna want you're gonna want these pylons. I'll do just fine. We'll want uh Well what this is, once we start it up, it's it's a trading mechanic. I can't go through it in this, I don't think. No, you can't go through it in this. <laughs> There's just a few things you can throw in. And there's a few things that you'll get back. And you can see what all those are in J.I. There's Dragonstone, Block of Dragonstone, Shimmerwood, Elementium, uh, Alplas. They're pretty. Uh, we can also upgrade our Lexica to tell us more things. They're basically just crafting ingredients for more complex items. Now here's a Croptopia recipe. Um, we're actually going to make two of these cooking pots. We are in the wrong GUI. Um... Refined Storage has a hard time with recipes that don't use up the crafting ingredient. Like, it's going to want to try to make 
If we were to try to make 64 noodles, it would try to make 64 cooking pots. And we can also... I mean, we can put anything here. We can put arrows here if we wanted to. But uh, the pot and a few other items from Croptopia are going to look nice on the stove. Uh, we're going to make some noodles. And to do that, we are going to need the Croptopia flour, which we can do. We're going to need salt, which I don't know if we, yeah, we did program in. This is what we're gonna be using the old, uh, the old sequential fabricator for. And we're also gonna need, also gonna need some water bottles. So let's, uh, let's make 64 of those. You know, I was gonna make ravioli, but it doesn't look like it's, it doesn't look like it's food. <laughs> like, you see how this stuff has, like, food diversity? Like, that does not look like it's food. So, <laughs> hey, we'll, we'll, we'll do something else with the noodles, I guess. Now, even though we can't auto-craft with it, we can get a stack out just by, uh, by crafting it manually. It is smart enough that it can do that. Now, what would we want here? Okay, so with chicken or, or tofu, we can make chicken and noodles. That looks like a pretty good meal. We will... Ha okay, so we need a couple of pistons. Okay, one all-purpose food press. So let's, uh, let's get some olives. We have olives, right? Yeah. Delightful. We'll make ourselves a stack of olive oil, all right, and let's go ahead and do tofu. We'll just need some more water bottles. That won't be hard. And it's kind of cool watching this thing when it has the, the glass ready. goes ahead and pours the water in there. Yeah, get your items. Alright, here's a ton of tofu. It's not bad on its own. And we should now have everything. Yeah, get a whole stack. Now one thing we can do, in addition to just uh, waiting for uh, this thing to fill up halfway, which it, which it is, <laughs> We could make a band of mana. This is just wearable, you know, mana tablet. We can also, if we have, we'll have to make uh, another rune, but we can make this band of aura. And while I'm out here, I'm going to make another Terra Steel. Now, right now, our band of mana has got nothing. Let's, uh... Go ahead and make this rune. Now we'll make the band of aura. And probably rather quickly, we'll see that having something. We can improve the band of aura with a terra steel. We can also improve the band of mana with a terra steel, and we're going to. Uh, these make them four times as good. So let's go ahead. We might have to wear this one for it to work. I don't know. Yeah, now you can see there's a, there's a progress bar there. And this will, you know, not super fast, but uh, definitely at a non-zero rate will uh, we'll put mana in the ring. I also want to start thinking about upgrading some of these thermal machines. I want the next tier of integral components. Now that would be uh, that would be the reinforced tier. Now we would need uh, the hardened to make them, so we'll need a recipe for that. We'll get all this together. And gold gear. That's a pretty good deal. Anything else? Okay, just the glass. Now over here We'll need Signalum gears. This thing already knows how to make Signalum, so no big deal. Alright, there's half a pool. Now these mana pools have two settings as far as mana tablets and the rings, the bands go. 
you shift right click to change the direction of the arrow. We want the arrow to be pointing from the pool to the tablet. And just throw it in there and you see the the little animation and you can mouse over with your wand of the forest. Watch the uh, the mana drain into the band. And just take a second. There's a little bit in the band because we have the, the greater band of aura so it shouldn't use all of this. Yeah. And now There we go. Now we can just let it drain the other direction. I don't think those despawn. Our system doesn't know how to make Invar or Electrum. And I don't know if we've made Electrum in this pack yet. It is just silver and gold. And we'll throw them up here. And we're going to make these probably one at a time. Because everything that has uh, one of these in it <laughs> is going to get one of these. So we'll just uh, we'll be changing them out. While we're at it, we're going to go ahead and throw one of these things in our, uh, what do you call it, our flux cell. This will take in Darien, which, again, we make in the induction smelter. And we will also need to teach this thing. We have a crusher over here by chance. No. Okay, so we'll do it in the pulverizer. That's fine. And Darien's pretty good. You use it for all the high end fancy thermal things. Starting to build up a good amount of crafters here. What else do we need for this? We need Lumium Gears. We know how to make Lumium. That's the one with glowstone and silver and doody doo. Hey, there we go. Let's uh, dig in here. Switch it out. Now it'll hold 24 million and transfer up to 8,000 at once. Now once you've got this thing all together, you just right click the Elven Gateway Core with your Wand of the Forest, and there's your Elven Gateway. Now there's a number of things you can trade through here, and everything else it will just eat. So keep that in mind. But the first thing we want to throw through is our Lexica Botanica. This will open all of this kind of stuff. Now the Eye of the Flugel, unfortunately, um, we cannot... Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. But a fragment of the Flugels can't warp across dimensions. What we don't have, what we don't have, and this is a Flugel tier, it's been disabled. That's really unfortunate. I got excited for a second. Um, another thing we can trade for is this Shimmerwood stuff, which will or Dreamwood, I should say, which we're going to use, among other things, to make an Elven Mana Spreader. I believe... Oh, okay, that doesn't do anything. We just lost, uh, the Living Rock. But a Mana Pearl will get you Pixie Dust. Two Mana Steel Ingots or one Terra Steel will get you an Elementian. And a mana diamond will get you Dragonstone. That, that's most of what you'll be trading for. The first thing we want is an elven mana spreader. If we were to mouse over this one with the Wand of the Forest, you can see it's, it is full. Um, and it's getting more mana than it can, uh, than it can handle. So we're going to go ahead and shift click, shift click, there we go. It's going to start blasting out. Now hopefully, one thing we'll see is all of the endo flames getting, uh, getting the particle effects above them because this thing is going to move mana more quickly 
and with less loss. Okay, yeah, it's keeping up. Very nice, very nice. It was full for a minute because some of these flowers, I think, were full. But now this thing is... Looks like it's operating at about as full a capacity it can handle. We still have some go dark for a moment now and again. But uh, this should, should be a vast speed improvement. Now while we're building up mana and starting to get some Terra Steel and some Elven resources. I wanted to get a start on Nature's Aura. Because Nature's Aura also adds a powerful set of gear, at least in this pack, powerful. And uh, um, the Terra Steel is fine. It's a slight upgrade in terms of the knockback resistance. It doesn't really do anything special. And I wonder if once we unlock the... Uh, this stuff, this Soul Strider stuff, it is better. It's, it's like the same armor and armor toughness as Netherite and Terra Steel in this, but it's 100% knockback resistance. So at least of what we can get a hold of right now, I think this stuff is probably the best. It's a little expensive, um, but, uh, but we can handle it. We've just got to, uh, we just got to get a solid start in the mod. And where that will begin is with the guide. Now, if it's all unlocked, which it isn't, okay. So we'll have to advance everything to see what, if anything, special that stuff does. I know the tools do something special. Um, we'll see about the armor. Now, what we're going to need to get started, I believe. We're gonna need some of this uh, this golden fiber, this stuff, and I think brilliant fiber. And we're gonna need grass, and we're gonna need some leaves. I don't know if we have much of any. Okay, let me go get some of that. Now, I don't think we'll need a whole lot to get us started. You have to bring the saplings over here still. They're still in the in the little uh, little shack. Alright, what do saplings have to do with anything anyway? Um, we're gonna plant a few more of these nice big spruce trees right around here so that they will almost certainly grow into each other. What you do with the golden fiber is you right-click it on leaves, and they will slowly transform into a quite bright gold color, and it will spread. So big spruce trees like this with lots of leaves are absolutely perfect. And I'm hoping we get like maybe one or two more with lots of leaves. Let's see, we got bone meal. Let's get some bone meal. All right, I went and got some bone meal. We can see it's spreading. We can see some of it's a brighter color. That one might be ready. But we don't, we don't want to cut it down yet. We want them, we want them to spread. There we go. Okay, so those will get up to that one eventually. Um, this one's pretty good. Uh, just add a little brilliant fiber here and here. This one grew on its own. I it might connect. All right. Just throw a little bit more in here. And uh, takes a while, but uh, once it gets going, it, it starts really going. And turn whole forests into golden, pretty leaves with little shiny particles time to time like this. It's cool. Now our ore processing setup outside, I want to increase the throughput. So we are going to make, what is it, an advanced tier? Yeah. So these are, these are all familiar ingredients. I just hope we have the osmium. We're going to want 
Oh, I hope we have the iron. <laughs> I don't think we have the iron. We'll have to uh, we'll have to get a little more going. All right, we got some more iron. In addition to the animal products that we're producing, we are also producing some essence. And we have, of course we do. We're gonna dye these lime green. Okay, let's sneak in here. I'm gonna put a pipe down. There we go. Let's get our configurator. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's in here. There it is. I uh, can't ever see a thing. And toss this down. This is essence. And I think it may prove important to us. Let's see, we got essence of knowledge. That's not really what we want. So we can make bottles of enchanting with this, which is cool. And bottles of enchanting. Okay. 250 here. 250 here. This is free. You don't need a glass bottle, so I think that's the way we're going to go. Experience, no matter how we get it, is the key to getting these skills. And we're going to throw some more potatoes in here. And uh, just collect as much as we can. But basically, every 16 buckets is going to get us a stack of these. Let's uh, go ahead and craft. Let's... Oh, I have not yet hooked up the external storage. <laughs> Let's do that. And set it to fluid. And now we should be good to go. Yeah. And pour it right in there. Anyway, we should have the juice now to make the, uh, the advanced tier installers. All right, now each one of these has, uh, has three slots that it can process with. But uh, with the addition of the advanced purifying, or the, uh, the advanced tier installers, you get two more. And you also get an increase in how much oxygen it can hold and in how much power it can hold. Like for here we got uh, 12,000, now it can hold 20. And that will, you know, once we, once we have a little bit better power generation especially, but even once we don't use it for a while and we get some power built up here, this is going to be much faster. Another thing we'll be using the essence for is in this mob duplicator. We're not uh, not quite there yet, but uh, we will be soon. So we have four Terra Steel now, and we are going to use it to make our our first fancy tool. This is the Terra Truncator, and this will chop down a tree all at once, and it will repair itself using mana. We are going to put some enchantments on it. Our golden fiber has been doing a wonderful job. Most of these are ready to harvest, and what we can do, we got a good amount of mana in our band of mana, just from walking around with the greater band of aura. Boom! Whole trees all at once. And I'm here to tell you it's very satisfying. Not all of these have completely converted. This is a good amount of gold leaf for now. That's that's what we're here for. And you'll notice like this took no durability doing that. It used a little bit of mana. You're gonna have to take my word for that. Now the first thing we're gonna wanna do, now that we uh, now that we have some of this gold leaf is we're going to want to make eight of these wooden stands. 
now we're going to want to start working on a natural altar. This book is great. Um, it'll tell you all about it. But basically, Aura generates naturally in chunks. Some of them have more. That's signposted by flowers. Uh, you, you can use Aura and drain it from the area. You can replenish the Aura. And you can do all kinds of different things with it. It's like a you might expect from, from a mod. <laughs> uh, the first thing we want to do, it's going to have us do the Ritual of the Forest and make tokens of joy, probably. There's another thing we're going to need for that. And we will want to teach this thing how to make glass bottles. Now what we need the bottles for, we need to make these bottles and corks from Nature's Aura. This is how we'll collect the uh, stuff like bottled sunshine, bottled ghosts, and what bottled darkness in the end. It does slightly deplete the aura in the chunk, so you got to be careful. But you just right click and you know, bottle sunlight. There you go. Uh, Ritual of the Forest takes up a little bit of room, but not that much room. We should be able to comfortably fit it here. Uh, what you can do is you can uh, click this uh, eye icon to visualize it. Right click on the ground. And there you have it. Now, everything but the, everything you see here in the ghost image, except the stands, is going to be consumed every time you use the ritual. So that does mean that you'll be using you know, a good amount of this gold powder, but it's uh, two per gold leaf. We got plenty going over there. Most of the rituals use an oak sapling in the center, not every single one. Now the ritual is mostly compatible with JI. You cannot shift click, unfortunately. Um, it doesn't matter what stand you start on. But uh, for this, you do have to do it in order. So we got our bottled sunlight. We got apple, iron, and leaf. So apple, and iron, and leaf. And you can either wait for the sapling to grow, in which case it'll drop your items on the ground. Or you can just bone meal sapling. And you'll get this sweet animation. And then part two of the animation. And then you get your items. Next thing we want to make with this thing is ancient sapling. I think you actually get two. This thing is the, well, the tree, once you grow it, is the basic of the basic for uh, aura regeneration. Uh, aura will drain from surrounding chunks into a chunk that needs it. And if this thing, this tree, sees that there's a chunk that needs it, okay, leaf and dandelion, then it will go ahead and some of its leaves, whoops, some of its leaves will decay. <laughs> Trying to talk and do at the same time. Some of the leaves will decay and the aura will replenish. Not super fast. It is definitely the, the very beginning end of this. We will improve it as soon as we can with some, some better mechanics. I personally like the shooting mark. But uh, we can make it. Okay, we can make it. But uh, we, could, we could actually make this. We'll do this soon. I know in later versions the big roots these used to have got taken out. I don't know what the story is in this version yet. Okay, yeah, we don't have to worry about the big roots digging up like they, they'd be like up to here. But uh, we will eventually see these leaves decay when we use Aura out here, which we're about to do. Um, next thing we want to make is the natural altar. Next thing we're going to want to make 
is the ritual of the forest. Or the ritual of the forest. The natural altar. We're making it in the ritual of the forest. <laughs> A bang up job today. So, let's see. We got leaf token stone. There's the leaf. There's our token. There's one more stone. Get our sapling. And finish it up. All these are the same. You always do the gold powder. I don't think it shows it in JI, but you're always doing it. Now, this will make a block that is the center of another multi-block. We'll set it up over here. We'll just need to, uh, like so. All right. There we are. Crying out loud, dude. There's our natural altar. Now, there's eight special blocks in here. Golden stone bricks. Okay, we just got the golden stone bricks left to put down. Now, when we finish this, the multi-block will start draining aura out of the area and send it towards the natural altar. This has a buffer. It's going to fill up. And as it does that, we're going to see some of these leaves decay. Now, we're going to want to see <laughs> what's going on with our aura situation. So we are going to make... What is it called? I think it's called, the basic one is an environmental eye. Here it is. It's another ritual of the forest. We'll need a spider eye and the gold. Here we go. This guy's still hanging out, because of course he is. Now there's an upgraded version of this that'll let us see more. But we'll be, we'll want to be in a place where we're like having machines overcharge the aura in the chunk. Now this thing will go in a charm slot. We have plenty available. Now you can see we've got that little uh, status bar up in the upper left hand corner of the screen. The aura here is slightly diminished. We can also see the buffer in the natural altar, so that's cool. The next thing we want to think about is the offering. For this, we're going to need a token of sorrow and a token of fear. So we are going to have to go ghast hunting. Now, this must be a pretty serious lava lake here. I was hoping we would have created a big platform by this point. It does not look like it. I don't know that we've even found a soul sand valley. So I think what we might do, well that looks like a soul sand valley down there, doesn't it? Oh, but hiking through the nether. Well, I guess there's nothing for it. Well, we just dug our way out here. There's one right over here somewhere, I'm not sure exactly where. I do want to get away away from this crimson forest. I do not need hoglins. There it is. It's like way over there. Uh, we'll find one. Huh. What's it do? Celestial workbench. Makes a fancy sword. Uh, this stuff isn't impossible, but we need gas tears. Let's see if we got any. This is probably like super dangerous right here, isn't it? It goes down like, no, it's not that bad. Oh, one of them blew up. Crying out loud. I forgot to bring food, too. We'll have to, uh our self-heal on tap here. I'm not seeing many, so time for plan B. 
I'm gonna dig up a bunch of this soul soil. Okay, so what I wanted to do is not gonna work. We're gonna need a gas tier to get a gas tier. So uh, I will be I will be hunting for ghasts. And I think we're gonna close it up here. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.